Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm gonna teach you on how to paint this wonderful painting. I'm gonna show you to you here. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And don't forget to hit that bell button if you want to have latest updates of my videos in the future. Before I'm going to start the tutorial, I'm going to introduce to, to you first the materials that I'm going to use. So I still be using limited colors my palette and I have the titanium white, the hollow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow and the raw umbers. I'm using limited colors because I want you to learn on how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay, and these are the pra possible brushes that I'm going to use. So I'll still be using the number 12 the Pratt brush, long handle. The number 10 bristle flat brush, um, long handle. I also have here the number 8 nylon flat brush long handle and then the number eight um, nylon flat brush short handle and the number one liner brush for the details you can also have zero double zeros and triple zeros um, liner or round brush okay and this is my canvas it's 10 by 12 inches it's a three coats of prime white acrylic you can also just so I made it myself and we need water to thin the paint Okay, so where's my water spray? So here, um, this uh, you can also use water spray if we're going to wet our canvas, and it will be easier for us to blend the colors. And I love this water spray because sometimes my canvas is too rough, and it will be good if you cannot drag your brush into your canvas. Okay, okay, so those are just the possible materials. So now I'm gonna paint. Um, I think I'm gonna paint another landscape painting. I'm gonna put. A farmer with cows there but I'm not sure really what will come out to me, into my mind but I will just put what I feel like I want to put here I want to put a little dark landscape with very good lights and it will be um, I'm gonna put trees or some similar to my other landscape and if you are painting you just follow what I'm doing and just have fun painting okay Okay, so I'm gonna start now and I think I'm gonna try to sketch first. So I'll be using the number um, 8 nylon flat brush long handles for a little sketch. So this is, uh, I'll be using this raw umber with some white. So I'm adding white because uh, this will make uh, this will make uh, the raw umber lighter and it will be um, could if I do this for the sketch, it will be lighter in canvas and I can easily easily um, cover it with uh, lighter paints like yellow or red. So you need to do this because if you're gonna use the the dark uh, raw umber, it will be hard for us to cover it with other paints. Okay, so here I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna create a very big part of the sky here because I'm gonna create a very nice clouds cloudy um, cloudy landscape cloudy sky so I'm gonna put my horizon on this part something like this one and make sure that it's straight And it will be a big tree here on this side, but I'm not put it now because I'll just think what uh, we're gonna put the big tree. So I'll just put it here. Okay, so here I'm gonna put the pathway here on this part. Okay. We can put it a little curve or something but it will sh it should have a very good perspective yeah I'm gonna put a very good light here coming to this part covering with a uh, victory here so it will cover some parts here and I don't want it to be very very real wish sprite here with with um, this part will be uh, bluish so I want to create um, to warm and cold colors um, striking or meeting on this part here it will be really great for landscapes 
So here, this will be my initial plan. Okay, so here I'm gonna put very dark, plenty of, plenty of um, bushes or grasses or plants here, so we could cover some parts. And also here, I'm gonna put a little um, trees here. Yeah. And also some small mountains, very very far mountains here, just a small mountains and some trees there. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna put the the farm here, here with uh, with cows or I'm not sure, but I'll just think about that later on. So let's just stay and relax with and paint okay so this will be my plan and it's gonna start painting it's still five minutes and we haven't started yet okay I'll be using a bigger brush it is the number 12 nano brush brush and it is good for a big area so we can start painting now i think i'm gonna paint some brewer sky first but i'm gonna put a little red to make it purple i want it to be dark darker or something like that so let's add a little white here on the bottom to make our time to blend our paints better you can add white here but I want it to be a little darker so that I can see clearly the clouds so I want it to add more white to my add more blue I mean then you can blend it well like this one just blend it well a little purple Yeah, I like the little purple clouds. I oh, know I mean the sky. I'm not sure what happened to my to my lights coming go on off. Okay. Maybe there's some short circuit out um, in anywhere. Okay, so let's make it bright here. I want it to be very very, very bright on the bottom. Just make it bright. I want it to be really more relaxing to watch this landscape. Cause me also when I think about this landscape I feel like relaxed. Okay. Not sure what happened to my lights. Okay. So we need to do it first because we're gonna let it try for a little time but I just want to put it a little by little so I have here another purple make sure that it should be more bluish purple yeah blue and blue red and white just a little white and then here Yeah, I can create a lighter purple than this one, but I like this one. We can put the clouds later on because uh, our sky is still wet. I like this canvas now because it's very very smooth. Yeah, something's wrong with my... Uh, current if you if you heard some clicking sound that is my current here that is my AVR I'm not sure what happened to that hopefully it doesn't bother you anyway okay I have here some 
it looks like um it looks like um forest some um, distant forest it doesn't look like a mountain but I think I like this in a way okay now we'll start adding some ground colors here so I will be mixing some greens so I'll be using some yellow I think I'm gonna put some orange first I like to put some orange I like this color because it will make my painting glowing or glow so I like to put there anywhere and also here I'm, I want it to be orange on the pathway this part here and then I'm gonna use some greens yellow and blue just yellow and blue for the green I'm gonna put it here this is actually an underpainting first I should always do this one because it will make uh, we show you that we can see clearly we're gonna put all the details or the colors all the all the um, objects here I want it, this part to be a little darker Actually, I have a little reference on um, doing this one. I like I like the work of Peter Markmanstead. I like his cows and with a farmer. So I made that as an inspiration, but I don't. I just don't copy it. I just make it as an inspiration for this painting because I love the look of this cow and other things there. Okay, so this is just an underpainting everyone. I want also to add very bright uh, light yellow green for the distant, um, what do you call this, distant uh, fields. So I like it very very bright as if they're the sunlight is striking on this part yeah yeah this one and also this one So anyway everyone we're just doing an under underpainting so whatever you're gonna put there is all up to you okay so I am using some browns now for the pathway so I'll make you some darker brown first oh it's a lighter brown because my brass have light browns there so I'll just turn a little dark So this is a pathway here. Brown pathway. So this is an old pathway or a road. Uh, I just say it's a road. Because uh, when you say pathway, it's just for humans or animals. But this is for some vehicles like, um, like any vehicles you can ride. So it's called the road. just make a little dark color for this road because this is just an underpainting it should be look flat okay so we have now the underpainting I'm not sure if it's dry yet I'll just make sure that my camera is on focus. I'll just start to. Yeah, it's still wet. Okay, so I'll try to start painting the clouds if I can. If I, if I if it will be hard for me, then I will just let it dry first. So first, you need to. Uh, clean your brush before you're gonna start with other colors because it will mix and it will become muddy 
it will look like mad okay so I have here some white and some purple you can use this old purple color right here need a little reddish purple so I want it to be more reddish because this is an afternoon scene So here I'm gonna put because I'm gonna put a very big um, tree here, so I'll put the clouds to this part so that it, the tree will not cover the clouds. Oh, that's too light. I'm gonna add a little blue and red. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I like this one. So I can create the circular strokes like this one. For the clouds yeah I love this color it's purple this will be really cloudy afternoon It is so bright, I like this color. Yeah, we can put it um, a little here, but um, it doesn't matter because we're just going to cover it anyway later. Just put a little here. And then we're gonna use some um, more red and white here. Just more red and white. And we can put it here. No, that's too dark. Add more white. And put it on the bottom so that you can see some reddish color. So that you can see clearly that it's an afternoon landscape. It's an afternoon and the uh, farmer is going home. Yeah, just straight lines, straight, long or short lines here on the bottom. Yeah, just have to make to put some reddish color here, or a little pink. You can also put yellowish. It's also it's also okay. You can also use that. There, that's good. I think I'm gonna use some white. Yeah, and it's still wet, that's why some colors does not appear like uh, we, we used to have in the palette. Okay. There, so we have a very bright colors in the bottom. this canvas everyone okay so I think I'll just try to add some highlights if I can because you know um, uh, the clouds still the background clouds still wet so I'm gonna try to put so here I have some yellow and red I'm gonna use orange and white it will be a little orange everyone and careful everyone because you're gonna put more yellow it, it will turn green because the background is a little bluish so we need more red to do that so here I'm gonna need to yes yeah I need more white it should be brighter than the than the background colors so here just use circular strokes here there so I'm gonna put all the light source coming from the light right side so this is uh, new to me because I always use my light source coming from the left okay
So I like painting it in wet. Also this one here. Anyway, we just have to cover this part later on, so um, it's not so important. Okay, so I'll be using a smaller brush. I'm gonna put print very good details, small details for that part. I'm gonna use um, a white with a yellow and red. So still the same. It's orange. So here, I can put small details here. There. I can use yellowish color or orange. Yeah, I like this yellowish color. There. I'm gonna put more red. Yeah, I like to paint it with wet. But sometimes it's hard to, to get all those um paints in the top yeah i like this one and also here yeah add more here also but this part uh, we'll just cover it later maybe here on this part so you can do it retouch you can retouch that later on so I want it to put more lights here I want it to be really glowing with lights coming from the Sun Okay, so maybe I'll just retouch it later on, but so far it looks good. Yeah, I'm also here. I'm gonna try to put some um, clouds on the back part here. Some shining clouds on the base, on the back of this cloud. Yeah, yeah, this looks good. Okay, and maybe here on the front part. Just a little, yeah. A little fading clouds, yeah. F no, not f fade. Yeah. Okay. Now we should not overdo it. Always make sure that you should not overdo it. Just add a little. Oh, uh, not too much because too much is not good. Okay, so I think I'm a little contented with that and. I'm gonna proceed to my mountain, so I'm not sure if it's yeah, it's dry. That's it good. Okay, so let's do the mountains. Uh, it's been 24 minutes, and we have a good progress now. Um, I'm planning what to do with my mountains, so maybe I'll just put my clearing or my field here first. The light color. So I want it to be very very bright. So I will be using yellow and white. Make sure that it's very very bright. I want it to put it here. So I want some lights striking on this part. Very bright lights. Anyway, this will be covered with some paint. So.
okay and then I will put some trees there on this part so we some parts here will be covered that's bad so I'll be using some blue with some raw umber so I'll just put first a darker color uh, uh, trees with a little yellow yeah so I think here yeah Just put it like this one. Yeah, since our background is still wet, so it would be hard to cover it with dark colors. So, anyway, this is just another painting. Okay, now I'll be using some more blue and red, some purple. I want also to put some distant, distant um, forest there. So I'll be using this color. It's just darker, darker purple. You can put it here, so like that. So as you can see, it will look like some distant forest. Make sure that it's a straight line. Yeah. And also the other one here, you can put more. Okay. Okay, that's good. And here I have, I have here the, no, the blue and the raw umber I want it to be dark so I'm gonna put it here I think here I'll just cover some parts anyway it doesn't matter you can use the punching technique or topping Okay. So on this part, I want it to be really, really dark. So I want some blue umber. Another one here. So don't worry, everyone. I did not mi I didn't miss this painting up. <laughs> okay. Maybe here I'm gonna add some dark colors. Yeah, also here. And here I also need to put some more dark colors. I want this to be really look more 
um, plenty of there are plenty of um, bushes and grasses, different types of grasses. I want it like that. Also to put more reddish color or brownish. So I'm gonna put more red. Yeah, red is good. Yeah, I like that. So you you should not be you should not put the um, definite shape like this one. You should um, no. just make it chaotic or destroy like like the natural um, environment is look more chaotic like this one. Do not make it too ordered. Okay. There. Yeah. So far it looks good. Okay, so I'll try to put some little um, tree trunk here and the branches. Yeah, I like to, I like this part. So I have here the raw umber with some blue. It will make raw umber and blue will make a darker color, like almost black. Uh, I'm not using any black now because uh, for beginners it will not be good. But when I was still big, uh, when I was a beginner, yeah, I used black anyway. See here, I want it to put some tree here. Yeah, I think it looks brown. It it looks bluish. I want it not so straight. Yeah, because. Because my background is still wet, that's why it's, I'm having a hard time hiding in this. Yeah. So I need to use a smaller brush. Then the, the liner brush here. So I'm gonna use the, the raw umber. And this will look um, old tree. Yeah, I like this one. This will look more old. Okay. Make sure that your um, liner brush is pointed on the tip so that you can put um, smaller um, smaller uh, branches. I think I'm gonna put another one here. Yeah. Make sure that uh, it's not so plain. That's why uh, I'll add the uh, wet background because when I use this one, it is, it's not so plain and you can see textures on the tree trunk. So that's also a good point. But you can also do that without um, with just other colors or light colors you can put there. It will also look like that. Yeah, you can put no more tree trunk. Oh no, I mean branches here. Yeah, just make sure that you have a very small. Okay, there. Yeah. yeah so far I love it so I love this one 
Okay, I'll just make sure that my camera is in focus. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes, 35 minutes, and we have a good um, starting. Okay, so I'm gonna put um, tiny um, details. So I think I have plenty of time, and uh, that's why I'm gonna put um, small details or leaves on this big tree here. So I'll have to do that since I still have plenty of time. I'll be using blue. Of yellow and red. Um, I'll start with dark colors first, dark greens, but later I'm gonna put more. So I want. Yeah, I just do it this way. Later, we're gonna add some backlights because our lights coming from the left side, the right side, I mean. So, I wanted to put more backlights. So, just do it one by one. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start adding some highlights on this part of the tree. So it will, I'm gonna use a little orange, so yellow and red with white first. So it will be more yellowish because this is an afternoon landscape, so we're gonna put more yellowish color. There. it more solid I mean the the light um, the highlights So I am putting this part because it is a uh, it is a backlight. So um, some parts there when I reach this part, so it will be look like that. Okay, now let's start adding some highlights. So I'll be using another brush. This one is a little smaller. Uh, this one is the number 8 flat brush. I'll be using more yellowish or green. So I'm gonna use some white. There. You can use the tapping technique. You 
can add more white. I'll just do it a little slowly. Okay, so they are cats. I don't know what they're doing there. <laughs> they maybe they are fighting out there. Okay, everyone, so. We're gonna put some highlights here. Okay, now it will be. I'm gonna put a little darker highlights, but I'm gonna put, make it a little bluish. I'm gonna add more blue and white. There. And it will be on the other side here. I'm still not sure if it looks good, but maybe later I'm gonna try to retouch that part. It's still so wet. But so far, I love it in the camera. It looks good. Wait, I'm gonna put some dark colors. I want it to be really, really dark on that part of the tree. So just use blue and or umber. Yeah, I want it to be really, really dark there. Something happening in my want to put some dark colors here. I want to create more contrasting colors. And also here. Except to put some dark tones there on the on the inside, okay? There, it's just like an old tree yeah, from an old painting. Okay, so I'm gonna proceed now because some parts are um, tried. So I'm gonna use another bluish dark bluish green here, and I think this one should be dark. I think I'm gonna make it a little um, reddish. So I will be using some yellow and red with some white. So I'm gonna put some highlights first. Uh, I can use the punching or tapping technique. put it on the right side because we're putting the highlights there yeah and then I'm gonna use some more darker red and yellow yeah I want this part to be I want this tree to be more red yeah 
Let's use the top being a punching. Yeah. And also these three here. Do it a little slowly, everyone. Okay. And I'm gonna need to put use more yellow and white. I'm gonna put it here. I want this part to be really, really shining with very, very bright lights. And yeah, I can use the punching technique, tapping. Sorry, tapping. And then also these trees there, I'm uh, going to put some highlights. Yeah, I want it to be a little darker. There. And then also here. Yeah, so we have no distant forest. Yeah, so far I love it. I love the the look of this painting now because it's really look old. Okay, so let's start adding some more highlights. I like to put lights on this painting now. So I'll start on the pathway. I think I'm gonna need to put more white here. So I have here some white, yellow, and red. So here I want this part to be really, really bright light. This one. I want it to be more yellowish or orange, orange. Just yellow and red, mix that the uh, two colors. Okay. And then One lighter. Okay, so we have no pathway. Yeah. And then I'm gonna need to use some uh, yellow. I'm gonna put some grasses here, yellowish grasses. You can use the punching technique, the tapping technique here. There, I wanna add more white.
I want this part to be really bright yellow. And also here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and also here, I need to build some tone here, slowly. Okay, just use the point tapping technique. Okay, do not overdo it. Always remember that. Yeah. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay. So I will be putting more highlights. I think I'm going to focus now for the road. I'll be mixing for a little bluish color. See here. I have here some blue, some umber and blue. There. And then white. I want the. I want the. Um, shadow, sh to be, more bluish here that's too dark sorry everyone yeah you can do it like this yeah you can still put the brownish color there but it's fine And also here, we need to put some some shadows from the from the bushes on the side of the road. There, okay. Okay, and also here. Yeah. Just continue adding more bluish tone here, but do not cover it everything because we still need the brown colors of the, uh, on the on the inside. So it should not be more blue. It should be more brownish and blue combination of those colors. It will be. It will look more realistic. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. That looks good. Okay. So. I'll be adding more highlights. So I have here some. Okay, I have here some yellow. I'm gonna put highlights on this tree here. You can use the tapping. Yeah. Yeah, and then I can have some white here. White and some 
blue I just use this color existing here because I want I want this one because it's bluish and with some um, uh, brownish and I'm gonna put also here some highlights on the back this is not actually a highlight this is a diffuse reflection or uh, some bouncing light on the back of this tree we still need to put some details on this one okay there yeah so far looks good okay so i like this color i like the color of this landscape so i wanted to put more yellowish here because uh, some parts here will be uh, hit by the sunlight so i want it i want to put more yellowish golden colors there here can use this brush and I think I will try to use the other brush which is this one <laughs> because I haven't used this one yet but this is the bristle flat brush this is also good for that okay I'll be using and this is big I can finish it directly faster right, it's still almost one hour and I think we have good painting today so here I can do it a little slowly to build up those highlights on the back yeah and also here I need to put some more highlights So far, I love it. I love this yellowish color. So do not, do not just make it so plain. Make make some textures out there, so that they can see. Because on the nature, there are actually no definite shapes. So we can do it like this one. Okay, and I'll try this one. Yeah, just a little. Okay. Yeah, so far it looks good. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put some. I think I'll try to put highlights on this tree here so I want it to be more yellowish again so red and yellow and white okay so let's put the highlights on the left side or on the right side I mean sorry there it should be very bright but do not put everything because some, some will be covered by the leaves Make sure that your brush is pointed. Okay. Yeah. Now I'll try to put uh, the man walking there. So, yeah. Or maybe just an old woman walking yeah. because I'm, if I'm going to put the cow here it will be quite it will cover some parts here but 
Yeah, I think I'll just create a man walking on the on the uh, on the road. Yeah, that will be good. Okay, so I just have to. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put an old woman. Let's try to. So, uh, first we need to use a very small brush. It is the number one in the brush. with some white yeah okay so I think I need to see the perspective first it's very important everyone perspective so I think I'm gonna put it here still wet yeah I need to put in the center so this will be this will be here yeah it's just, you should do it a little more careful because Perspective is very important in painting. Yeah, maybe that part. And I'm gonna put the head here because uh, this is the horizon here, so it should be the head. Yeah, okay. I'll put the head first, then the body. She is walking. I'm not sure if it doesn't look like giant. Yeah, I think it looks like big. Yeah, we should uh, cover it part here because it looks big. We need to make it a little smaller, like this one here. Okay, then that will be, yeah. I'm not sure if it's look more big, um, smaller, yeah. It's okay everyone if you commit mistakes, that's good. Yeah, head here, and the body, she's walking. So we have here some blue and the blue umber. Uh, I'm gonna put some shadow here. Yeah, there. I think it's too big. I'm not sure, sure, but yeah, I'll just make it a little smaller. It's a little try and error everyone, so let's make it a little smaller, this one. here we're gonna cover some parts there I'm gonna make it a little lighter Yeah, 
think that will be yeah because the landscape is very big so yeah okay <laughs> okay so I think I'm gonna put some highlights there Okay, so I think I'm gonna put some highlights on this, on this um, uh, human walking on this road. I think I'm gonna put a straw hat. So I think um, I will be wearing a straw hat. Mm, it should be white. I'm gonna put some colors. I think a little blue. Yeah. And then some blue umber and blue. here I'm gonna put yeah okay so this is very small so it um, should not uh, make it more obvious I think I'm gonna put uh, yeah maybe it's okay but I'm in a stage of retouching this painting so I will try to put try to see if Maybe I'll put um, some. Yeah, wait. Maybe he's holding something. Yeah. Try to put it here. I think we're gonna put it uh, like this. It's like a holding some water or something. Or he's selling something, oh, I don't know. 
Yeah, something like that. Yeah, because this is a very very small painting everyone, so it's very hard to create details on this small person. <laughs> I'm gonna use white to create more highlights. Yeah, it's one hour and ten minutes now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe he's walking going home. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put more um highlights. I'm gonna put more um, plants here on this part so um, I'll be using more blue and white and a little yellow so here I need to put more plants here Also grasses, you can put grasses. I also need to put some um, orange grasses here. Not so much. I can also put plenty of colors. Okay. Then we're using some yellow. For some highlights. Okay, and some white. I want, I want a very light color. I want to see you. I want this part to look like glowing glowing with lights yeah there I like how it looks okay I know we're gonna put a little highlight here but I think I'm gonna put some Um, road lines I, I really don't know how you call that but I just call it road lines I just call it some road lines so I'll be using the raw umber that will be from this part I'll make it a little lighter here yeah 
Yeah. And I want it uh, a little darker for this part. And then you can put the highlights, some highlights. This will be more yellowish. So I want it to be more yellow and red. And a little white. Because there's light here, so I'm gonna put some highlights also here. Also here. Okay, so now we can see clearly some lights. So it will be, I'm gonna make it a little more reddish. some white Yeah. I think I'm going to add more white here. Okay, yeah, that looks great. Okay, so I'm gonna retouch now, and the, the last part will be in this part here. So I'll just put some grasses or some random uh, bushes. So here I'm gonna use some red and yellow, or a little brownish. It will be dried. Um, some dried grasses yeah something like that we just create it um, vertically so you can point it anywhere yeah And then some, I'm gonna paint some purple. Um, red, uh, just add more red and, and blue. More red here. there 
So since this part is dark, so you just have to use this color. I'm gonna add white for the purple to make it lighter for the highlights. Now I'm gonna put um, a little more process, so blue and yellow with white. You can actually use a smaller brush. Okay, I'll be using a smaller brush now. Some are wet. Not some white create some highlights here we can put a uh, little flowers Just that um, using the brush, white brush. So we'll be making it a little dark. Okay, so everyone, so I think I am done. So it took me one hour and 24 minutes for the entire process. So I think that would be good for just one hour and 20 minutes. And so far, the painting looks good. Yeah, especially in the in the in the video, it looks really good. So okay, everyone. So I wanna say thank you for watching this video today, and I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors of your palette because I want you to learn to know how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God be sure. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.